we are going to complete the positioning spacer lesson. So let's take a look at our drawing and just confirm we have all the parts and the dimensions that we're going to need and the angles. So what we're going to do is change this to a center line. So uh, you can either type in line type or go find it in the menu above. And we're going to load in the center. And you should try these out. I've got center two loaded up here and say OK. And now, now this time when we select the line, we can right click and hit properties and then go to the line type and select center. And that's how we change the line. And I'm extending it out a little bit. And then let's go ahead and rotate this, but we want to be very careful that when we select the line, we're going to select the line, press enter, base point is at zero, zero, but make sure you hit copy. And then I'm going to go ahead and rotate this uh, minus 30, and then I'll do the same, and this time hit copy, and this one will be at 45. And I'm just verifying all this. All right. And so let's continue working on here. Um, I can go ahead to my circle start end, select the center of the circle, and make sure you go from right to left, otherwise it'll go the opposite way. All right, and then the properties here, we'll go ahead and make the line type center. And I could have just made a circle and trimmed it, but I wanted to show you that feature. All right, so then in this dimension, it's this jog, it's actually a very uh, helpful tool here. So you're going to want to make sure you do this correctly here. It's a different type of dimensioning. And that was the jog, all right? So if you, and let's do the angle. So this one should be 30 degrees. And then this one should be 45 degrees. And I can snap it so that they are justified. Alright, so I'm going to look at my drawing and just extend these out, and I'm going to be making lines here just, just to show um, the center, and I'm copying my drawing. So I'm just extending these lines, and then I'm going to change them to center lines. Alright, a little difficulty here. Try it one more time. Click it, drag it. There you go. All right, hit escape and then hit properties and let's go ahead and make this my center line and I'm being very careful that all my lines are going to reflect what I see in my drawing. And let's go ahead and dimension all this as we need to. So if it's not a full circle, it's typically dimensioned as a radius. Actually, it always is. It should be. If it, uh, you'll notice that that should be a radius. Okay, so there's my radius. I just manually did an override there. And then I can um, select it and make it larger so I can just drag this over. You have to be careful with the manual overrides because if you end up changing the circle, it doesn't change. So it's very, you have to be very careful with it when you're doing manual overrides. So 0.75, but we want to say this is typical, meaning that all those spaces are 3 quarters of an inch. And get all these dimensions here. So we'll double click in there and 
This should be 2x diameter 1. All right, so let's go ahead and change so that we are at the hundredths. So for precision, all right, and then you can go ahead and finish up the drawing as you need. We still need to do the line weights, but we're essentially done with this lesson for today.